Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922. Did JoJo last night? I I can't review JoJo, and then right after that, um, I'm going to Blade Works, because uh, my mind will explode. So instead, doing something a little lighter, Soma. So Kugeki no Soma. Now, while I was watching the episode, I kind of thought to myself, here's the thing that I find kind of irritating about Irena. Irena Nakiri. I'm not going to talk about the other characters that show up because I'm spoiling. Before I get into what happened in this episode, which is beastly, it was an awesome episode. Episode 7. The Shokugeki against um, Ikumi. Um, Mito. What I don't like about Irena is that, and this just, this just irritates me, and the anime only watchers, you know, I'm not going to say what happens in, currently in the manga that she does, that she says, but I will say specifically what my problem is. During the entrance examination, when Soma made that dish for her, and she ate it. And here's the thing that pisses me off about this character. She knows. She knows it's good. But yet she still says disgusting. It gives me a failing grade. You know what I call that? That is ignorant, my friends. Ignorant. Beyond ignorant. It's called, oh, I don't want my reputation to be ruined, so I'm going to kill, kick this kid out. Really? Well, how about Soma kicks you out? Of course, that's not going to happen, but I just find it irritating about this character, Irena, that she does that. Why? Because he's, because you're bourgeois and he's not? Get the fuck out of here. And just to prove it, what happened later? Her grandfather comes in, she ta he tastes the dish, and he rips up that eviction, that, that grade, and enters him in. Because you know why? He's got common sense. He knows someone's a good cook. So... I'm not harping on Irena, but she's just a bitch, okay? I, I try not to say that, because supposedly I feel like she's growing as a character and she's not being a bitch, but no, she's a bitch. When it comes to Soma, she's a bitch. She, she's, she's, she's a cunt. She's a bitch. She's a, a stupid bourgeois blonde bimbo. That's the way I look at it. And people who, I, I don't even think a lot, I seriously doubt anyone likes Irena. And so Kukudeki knows it. I seriously doubt it. But, uh, let's get to the episode now. <laughs> I'm off that rant. But, episode 7. This is so Kukudeki with um, Ikumi. I was done well. You know what I really am enjoying with this anime? It's the animation when it concerns the making of the food. And what the food looks like. That's what I really find interesting about it. Especially in this episode. Because they show you... Akumi, she's making the meat. You know. You're very sexual, I might add. That was... This is... A trip there. And it's grade 5A. Or A5, I believe it was. 5A, grade, grade A5. Meat. And... You know, she's cutting it. She's sautéing it in butter. actually see the marbling effect on the meat. It was a very interesting, you know, specific, like, de it was very detailed. Like, you saw, which I'm really glad they're doing with this anime, you actually saw her explain how the butter entraps the juices of the meat inside, you know, and so on and so forth. And when you saw, like, the, the finished product of the, um, Hers and then and, and Soma's. I thought that was presented very nicely. The color and the animation is flawless here. JC Staff, good job. It's just flawless. I'm, I'm really impressed. Especially with Soma's cooking. When you see like every grain and, and, and color and 
you can't smell it, obviously, but you see the details of it, and it's just done so beautifully. The other thing about this episode that I'm not surprised is, and this is just, I guess they don't like him because he made that proclamation in the beginning of the opening, of the opening ceremony. And I'm like, instead of being, they're all jelly of him. And, and let's, let's be honest here. These nobodies who have no names, who don't know who they are, they're just fucking side characters. Why don't you, like, take a note from him and actually be better instead of being a bitch? That's just me. So, and I thought it was done great this episode. He obviously, he pretty much just G-checked her. Uh, Kumi, like, because, like, she totally, because it was Dawn, and Dawn is, there's more than just the meat to it. There's the rice and everything else, and the sauce. She completely abandoned the whites, the rice, pretty much. So she did not, she did not come, a complete, Adon is a complete bowl, essentially. And that's what you could hear, uh, I mean, um, Soma was basically selling her. And, you know, she remembers her childhood with her father and everything. And it was kind of, it made her cry and, and, you know, she was embarrassed. She called him an idiot. She brought her, her I like. Her I like because she comes out into the forefront of actually supporting. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's spoiler. Shh, gotta keep my mouth shut about that. But, it, you know, she's a good character. And I thought this was a good episode. Gonna give it a four and a half out of five. But next week, I'm looking for big things. For next week's episode. It's that other guy. The, um... His name eludes me. Um, he's, um, I won't spoil though, but he's this Italian uh, chef. Very interesting to see that. That should be a good episode. But I thought it was done well. I I'm sorry I went on a rant on, on, on Irena, but I'm sorry, but she is so ignorant. She is so ignorant. Like, how can you blatantly judge someone? You taste their food, and you still say it's disgusting. Why? Oh, you don't like them. You know what? Take her off the seats. Yeah. Top 10? She's not a top 10 anymore. She's a negative 10. Meaning negative 10 as below zero. I'm sorry, but she's just a bitch. And I, I think, you know, the only reason she's there? Her grandfather. I'll say it. I don't give a shit. You can't you can't just bash someone's cooking like that when you know it's good. But this was done well. Like I said, I really am impressed with JC staff with this animation when it concerns the food. It's really done very well. I'm really impressed. And I think it can only go from here on out with with the animation when it concerns the, the food dishes as it, as it's presented week by week. There's another match, a Shokugeki match, that I'm really looking forward to. But it's not here yet. Sadly, it's not here yet. But when it comes here, yo, I'm going to be all up in that shit. So, yeah, sorry about the rant, but Irena just pisses me off. You know, she's just a bitch, and I don't like her at all. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Four and a half out of five for this episode of Shokugeki no Soma. And I also love the fact this was classic. So, the guy who was the head of the Don uh, Club basically asked him, oh, are you going to join? He's like, no. <laughs> and he left. And basically, fucking uh, Kubi's like, it was, you can hear it here. And he tells him what happened. And she's like, Arr! she beats the shit out of him. <laughs> it was so funny. That was classic. But good episode, four and a half out of five. Um, a lot of jiggling going on. <laughs> Not just the me, but the other me. Um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Um, I did some first impressions. I think next week I have a, yeah, next week I have an extra day off. That should be awesome. It'll be Memorial Day. So I might use that day, extra days, to knock out more first impressions and I'll hopefully upload them. Hopefully I'll be able to upload some of these tonight. I should be able to. I should be able to. 
So yeah, until then, I'm Bonka Nice Yourself. See you guys later. Fakes the night later. Oh shit, that's gonna be awesome. And of course, DXD. Look forward to it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.